My daughter Sarah eagerly married her high school sweetheart Tony when she was just 23 years old. A year later, complications from her difficult pregnancy confined her to strict bed rest, leaving poor Tony struggling to cope with his unmet needs. Being a 45-year-old twice-divorced woman, I decided to move in with a couple to help care for Sarah during this delicate time. I quickly noticed Tony's eyes wandering to check out other young beautiful ladies whenever we went out. Then late one restless night, with Sarah hospitalized unexpectedly for monitoring, I got an idea. I went to Tony's bedroom wearing my lowest cut, most revealing negligee. Feeling lonely, dear? I purred softly, gently sitting next to Tony on his bed. A strong, virile young man like you must feel so frustrated with your wife away. Tony squirmed uncomfortably under my suggestive gaze. But Taylor, I'm your daughter's husband. We can't possibly, he protested weakly. Shoo, I whispered, putting a finger lightly to his lips. Sarah never has to know. Just relax and let me help you relieve some tension tonight. Well, one thing led to another and soon we were intensely entangled in each other's arms. To my surprise and delight, Tony's pent-up passion was insatiable. From that night on, whenever Sarah was away at medical appointments, I would initiate another blissful rendezvous. Then several months later I discovered I was pregnant too. Though I knew it was terribly wrong, I decided to have the baby in secret. By some miracle, Tony and Sarah seemed to believe my story about a short fling with an old boyfriend. For almost two years we managed to keep up this exhausting charade, but the guilt ate away more and more at poor Tony's conscience until he finally broke down and told Sarah everything. Oh, she erupted in the biggest fit of rage I'd ever seen, calling us every nasty name in the book. As a mother myself, I couldn't blame her one bit. With time, and after many tears, Sarah found it in herself to forgive Tony and I for the good of our family. Heartbroken, I moved out and promised to never interfere again in their marriage. I knew it was the only right thing to do, no matter how much it hurt. Slowly but surely, Tony and Sarah worked extremely hard to repair their relationship and rebuild trust. By some miracle, our extended family did eventually heal and grow close again. This painful chapter taught us that even decent folks can make poor choices in moments of weakness, but that love finds a way when truth is brought to light.